Let's take our hummus game up a few notches. I'm gonna show you my layered hummus dip. So good. Bell pepper. We're gonna work on our veggie toppings. Rough chop. One Roma tomato. Rough chop. And then just a little bit of parsley. Rough chop. We've got our veggies done, let's go cook up that meat. Medium high heat, nice large skillet, drizzle of good extra virgin olive oil from the Mediterraneandish.com, shameless plug. Going in with some red onions, I'm gonna leave some raw onions for later to garnish with. Some garlic and the beautiful bell peppers, there we go. All right, we're going in with a good pinch of kosher salt. Toss, toss, toss. Mm. Let this party sweat for, oh, four-ish minutes or so. Looking good, looking good. And we're going in with the meat. And break it up. We're going in with some kosher salt. A little bit of black pepper if you want. And the goal here is to fully cook the meat, make it nice and browned. Meat needs about a minute or so. In the meantime, we're gonna work on some pine nuts. All we need to do is just give them a quick toss and a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, get some color on them. They'll be added to this hummus party, so good. Going in. So when you're working on pine nuts, it's gonna look like nothing is happening for a while but don't walk away because they're gonna brown so fast. Look at that. At this moment in time, I have three things I'm seasoning my meat with. Just one teaspoon of ground allspice. You can find it over on the dish.com. Just hit the shop tab. We have a little bit of sumac here. Sumac is tangy and bright. Just a hint of it. And then just a touch of ground cinnamon. Beautiful. Toss, toss, toss. Give it a second more. Gorgeous. Now that the meat's ready, pine nuts are ready, veggies are ready, let's do this layered hummus party. Come with me. Your homemade creamy, dreamy hummus from the Mediterranean dish or store-bought spine. We're gonna start with the hummus layer. By the way, if you do wanna make your hummus from scratch, find that recipe on the dish.com. We're coming in with a drizzle of your extra virgin olive oil because everybody loves a little bit of this. Some sumac, which I had seasoned my hummus with earlier, but why not, just a dash. All right, the seasoned meat layer, which is what turns your average hummus into a glorious meal in itself. I mean, I can have this for dinner, just pass me the pita. And then the final finishing touches, red onion, the beautiful tomatoes, some of those beautiful fresh little peppers, and the parsley, and this special added touch of those pine nuts. Pass me the pita, baby, because this hummus party is about to happen. Let's dig into this delicious layered hummus dip. Oh my gosh. Mm. Find the recipe for my layered hummus dip over on TheMediterraneanDish.com. I will see you later. Ciao. Mm. Mm. So good.